I can identify how light is used in cameras. I can describe how different cameras are affected by light. I can explain what type of light behavior is being used in different cameras. The first camera we tested was a Polaroid camera. A Polaroid camera uses two different types of light behaviors, reflection and refraction. The image reflects into the lens onto a mirror, then onto film where it is exposed. Here is what it looks like. Then there is a gear system. The gear system looks something like this. When the gear system is turned, it pushes the film out of the top. The film used in a Polaroid camera has different colored layers. Film uses layers of microscopic dichronic crystals that polarize light. The next camera we did was the digital camera. When a digital picture is taken, the light streams through the lens. This is known as transmission. Then, the camera uses a piece of electronic equipment that captures the incoming light waves. This is where absorption comes in. From there, the light is turned into electrical signals. www.explainthatstuff.com explained it best when they said, Light from the thing you are photographing zooms into the camera lens. The incoming picture hits the image sensor chip, which breaks it into millions of pixels, then me measures color and brightness and stores it as a number. The third camera we used is a Canon DSLR camera. DSLR stands for Digital Single Lens Reflect. How the camera works is, inside the camera is a single silvered mirror. A little bit of light is allowed to pass through and reflected off the mirror into a pentaprism. From there, the pentaprism refracts light into the viewfinder to be able to see what you're taking a picture of. When you click the button, the shutter opens for a few seconds or long enough for the digital sensor to identify the object. When the shutter opens, the mirror flips upward, allowing light to directly transmit to the digital sensor, which turns light rays into a, a, an electrical signal the picture is then created and stored as a number on a memory card. Finally, when you take a picture, you hear a click, which is the moving mirror, and you aren't able to see through the viewfinder because the source of light is being blocked. The lens element works in conjunction with aperture, which is a hole before the sensor of a certain size that focus light travels through. Smartphone cameras almost universally use wide angle lenses and small sensors, meaning focal lengths are below five millimeters. A convex lens is used in the camera to focus incoming light onto a EMOS sensor. The sensor will then digitize it and will turn it into a JPEG photo that will then say, be saved on your phone. In every digital camera, there's a lens and sensor. The lens focuses incoming light onto the sensor in the camera. Your eyes work similar to a camera. Light from something you're looking at passes through your cornea, which refracts and focuses the light. The iris controls how much light enters, and the retina picks up the image upside down. If you wear glasses or contacts, they do the same thing to help your eyes see clearly. <laughs> Different wavelengths simulate receptors in our eyes, making sunlight and colors visible to us. Other animals can see different wavelengths useful to them. The range of wavelengths that we can see is 390 to 750 nanometers. Without light, you would not see. The iris contracts when it's bright, so light will not damage our eyes. In the dark, the iris expands, so more light is allowed to enter, helping us to see in the dark. 